Good morning. I'm not Adrian Flores. I'm not Raven Davis. And it's April 16th, 2018, and this is your Windsor High School video bulletin. This week is Spirit Week. Here's the theme days. Monday is Sleeping Beauty Day. Hard Dance Tuesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Thursday is Theme Park Thursday. Friday is Wildcat Friday. <laughs> dance team is gearing up for its 2018-2019 dance season. Trials are May 10th to 11th from 4.30 to 6.30 in the small gym in the dance room. All genders are welcomed. You must attend both nights of tryouts in order to be eligible to make the team. Seniors, if you're enrolled in the Odyssey for credit recovery, the deadline to complete all graduation required credits is April 30th. Don't wait, get it done. Time is running out. Here's the future of AP Art. Art is an extremely significant for so many reasons, but the main reason to, for me is our species is the only species that actually makes art. We're the only ones that makes music and drawings. Um, we de decorate our clothing, we decorate our faces, and it's always fascinated me. We don't actually need it to survive, but yet we have this, this drive to make it. I think art affects your daily life because after being in class like all day and having to think critically, you get to have a chance to like think the way you want to about things instead of just strictly facts. It could be your own world. Full work, it actually goes back to the person, the viewer. There isn't like a set, and that's the thing with artists and art. I think especially young artists and students, they come in with this kind of idea that there is a right and a wrong. That polarity of thinking is not actually how artists think. There is art that, that moves you, that, that touches you, that makes you think, that is beautiful, that makes you angry. That to me, any kind of reaction that it invokes, even if it's like, oh my God, that's hella sick. Art is super important to me because it gives me an outlet for like my creative processes. Like if I want to do something, then I could just go to art and draw something, draw it out, see what I like. I recommend AP for anybody who feels driven to, to want to work hard. It is a high level commitment class, but it's so worth it. It's totally rewarding. It's just you have to have that self drive because like I said, it's not the kind of class that the teacher is giving you this assignment, this assignment, it's like I'm guiding the studio experience as an independent artist. But definitely take all the art classes, they're really awesome. Junior and senior students interested in finding out about the Armed Services Vocational Aptitude Battery, ASVAB, program register for the te test next Wednesday, April 25th. Should come to the College and Career Center or visit www.asvabprogram.com to view a video about the program tutorials. Is your phone battery always low? Are you constantly asking classmates for chargers or running to power outlets? Can you just not save your phone battery in any way, shape, or form? Here is an idea. Get off of your phone, you fool! Just for five seconds, please! Listen up, because I'm about to reveal a big secret to you. The less time you spend on your phone, the more battery it saves. There's so many benefits. If you if you get off your phone, I know it's, it's risky, your grades might go up. In fact, it is a 100% proven statistic that the less time you spend on your phone, the more your grades go up. If you don't believe me, Try it! Also, your phone, if you're not on it, it, it won't be taken away by teachers. Fun fact, did you know that teachers would actually prefer not to take away your phones? I know, it's a shocker. But they actually prefer just to not bother with taking away your phone and keep on teaching their class. So yeah, maybe try getting off your phone sometimes. It might be better in multiple ways. Pro! <laughs> 
mom is here. Bring your signed dance contract and your receipt and pick up your tickets in the office at lunch after third block. Go to the WHS website for all the deets if you want to get fancy on it. Hi, I'm Alex Hardiman. I'm Amberlynn Heskett. We're not a couple. Well, we're, we're just, just a, a cute, cute couple of kids running for prom. Vote for us. I'm Caleb Barrios. And I'm Sophie Castro, and we're running for prom royalty, so vote for us. I'm Eric. And I'm Maddie. Vote for us. <laughs> I'm Jillian Day. I'm Nick Cervelli. Vote Jillian Nick. We should be your top pick. Leadership will be presenting a junior versus senior boys volleyball game on May 4th with mandatory practices beginning in April. If any junior and senior boys are interested, please come to B124. Juniors interested in the Rotary's Youth Leadership Training Camp this summer are invited to attend an informational meeting on Monday, April 16th at 9 a.m. in the administration conference room. RYLA is looking for a current junior who exhibits leadership qualities and is well-rounded in their community and school. Sports this week at Windsor High. There aren't many home games this week, so hop in your car and support your Jags on the road. On Monday, April 16th at 4 o'clock p.m., JV Boys Baseball versus Casa Grande. On Tuesday, April 17th, Varsity Boys and Girls Swimming, Softball, Badminton, and Baseball are all at Casa Grande at 4 o'clock. And at 3.30 p.m., Varsity Boys Tennis at Maria Carrillo. Starting at 5 o'clock p.m., Varsity Girls and Boys Lacrosse at Sonoma Academy. On Wednesday, April 18th at 3.30 p.m., Varsity Boys Tennis has a home game versus Casa Grande at the Middle School. At 4 o'clock p.m., Freshman Boys Baseball at Rancho Catati. On Thursday, April 19th at 4 o'clock p.m., Varsity Boys and Girls Badminton versus Maria Carrillo. And at 3.30 p.m., Varsity Boys Tennis has another home game versus Ukiah at the Middle School. Also on the 19th at 4 o'clock p.m., Varsity JV Girls Softball. And at 7 o'clock p.m., Varsity Boys and Girls Lacrosse, both at Rancho Catati. On Friday, April 20th at 4 o'clock p.m., Varsity and JV Boys Baseball at Rancho Catati. A few home games here on Saturday, April April 21st at 11 a.m. Freshman Boys Baseball versus Las Lomas and at 2 o'clock p.m. JV Boys Baseball also versus Las Lomas. I assume it doesn't say on the script. As we near the end of the year there's only a few weeks left to show your support of these games so make sure to head out and catch your Jags there. Show to the games! <laughs> Reminder that Odyssey runs Monday through Thursday during 4th block and after school on B-Days from 3.45 to 5.15. Also, if you're taking a BYU class for graduation requirements, the deadline to complete the course work and request exams April 30th. Please see your counselor if there are any other questions. Seniors, graduation is almost upon us, so get your Project Rad ticket. Project Rad is a huge party the night of graduation for you and your friends to play games, laugh, and win. Tickets are $60 or see your counselor if you need a scholarship. Information is mailed to your house and extra copies can be picked up in the office. Make sure to sign up now. Good, bring it a little closer. <laughs> closer. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Just keep you classy once our high school. Bye. Bye. That's not good. Go now, go now. Head out and catch. Oh, I dropped it. I never drop it! Ah, what's wrong with me? Ah.